Hey there, Rockstar! Welcome back to my YouTube channel! Ah, 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 ah! El primero! Outfit of the day! Check these out, these are camouflage, don't you know? Can I show up my whole body? Like, ugh! Ooh, yes! Do you love this look? I love this look! Oh, we're gonna keep that in. We're gonna keep that in. <laughs> okay, so I have a confession for you here on today. This is something that I felt is natural for me for the longest time, practically since birth. But as I go through life, I just get more and more connected to it and I want to dive in deeper. And that is... <laughs> My love of sci-fi. <gasps> it's happening! Yes, I am Kingmid64, shout out to my Twitter days and shout out to my Tumblr days, my gosh, I love Tumblr man, shout out to you. Um, yeah, so I love sci-fi. Sci-fi is my favourite genre of film. So first it's sci-fi, then it's action, then it's horror slash fantasy, they're sort of like on the same podium sort of thing. So sci-fi, I believe, is a genre that transcends everything. You can have a sci-fi thriller, a sci-fi mystery film. It truly is a genre that takes the passion for human knowledge and the advent of technology, merges them together and blows your mind in ways you did not even comprehend was possible. And blows your mind in ways that you didn't even, and blows your mind in ways that you didn't even think, and blows your mind in ways that you didn't think was possible. Maybe I'm biased because sci-fi is kind of a British genre. Except for like ancient Greek texts and everything else, sci-fi really came, became mainstream in the 19th century thanks to Mary Shelley and her novel called Frankenstein. Can you imagine living in a time where like amputation or like prosthetics like robot arms and stuff or like blood transfusions or anything like that is like so out of this world sort of thing? For anything you can think of, sci-fi did it first. Whatever's going on in the world today, <laughs> sci-fi did it first, I promise you. I think that humans are separated from animals through technology. Like push comes to shove, like some animals are just like mean for no reason. Um, some animals like jumping off buildings and and any being with a brain can have an imagination. I think that science fiction is just us as human beings being like, no, 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 universe, cosmos, everyone else, this is what we are. And this is what we are going to be. Sci-fi films have a habit of kind of writing the narrative of the human spirit, don't you think? Every sci-fi film that I've watched so far has been for the thirst for knowledge, the quest for actualization, regardless if they have that acute level of foresight or not. <laughs> And it's ever expensive as well. I think that horror films can be sort of minimised into like someone dies at the end. Fantasy films, oh it's magic. Action films, something blows up. But sci-fi, it is forever expensive. It's not just Frankenstein. It's not just zombies. It's not just medical sci-fi. It's not just the apocalypse. Not just. It isn't just digging to the centre of the earth. It isn't just dinosaurs. It isn't just robots becoming sentient and taking over all of humanity. Any and every person, regardless of race, gender, sexuality, anything else, can literally imagine themselves in a science fiction based world. Living their day to day, being part of the story, any sci-fi film you watch could literally predict the future. I'm insanely passionate about sci-fi and to date I've not met one person in IRL that wants to dive deep into sci-fi. Like, sci-fi as opposed to other genres, like, it's so indie and like, that's how it's supposed to be, <laughs> sort of thing. Like, like a sci-fi film does not necessarily care if you like it or not, whereas I find that for other genres, horror, fantasy, everything else, I find that like, they, they, a good film is a good film regardless of where it's from, but like, uh, sometimes you just kind of like want to enjoy yourself and uh, not, not want to like, base what you're watching on like these amazing pillars of horror and fantasy that very much exist. Like they'll always have to try and meet that standard. But sci-fi films, they're always reaching new standards and always like trying to open your eyes in new exciting kind of ways. To me, every sci-fi film I've watched so far has immediately become a classic. I can watch each of those films time and time and time again and get something new each and every time. That being said, sci-fi is not for everyone, but then I like it because then I can engage 
in that genre and to really find what speaks to me as a person. So yeah, that's what I love about sci-fi. I can't wait to dive even deeper into sci-fi. It is an amazing genre that's tapped into the futurism that humans have, humans possess. And sci-fi sci always did it first. That's it for me in this one. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, outro. <laughs> Bye.